One of the artists featured at Holiday and well known throughout the Cherokee Nation is Verna Bates. Verna has her hands in all kinds of different art, but is best known for the masks she makes with the gourds grown right here in her garden. Grandmother could speak, uh, she was fluent. In my Cherokee name, she gave it to me when I was born, Gataya, and a lot of people will ask me, what does it mean? And I would love to be able to tell them that it means something romantic like babbling brook or what have you, but it simply means Verna. My husband says it means running mouth, <laughs> but, but that's not true. <laughs> I'm Verna Bates and I'm a Cherokee artist specializing in gourd art. Uh, this is my studio, Gourds Etc. I have five siblings. One of them was uh, working as a, an artist. She brought me this dipper gourd and she handed it to me and she laughed and she said, here, see what you can do with this. Turned around and walked away. I put it up on a shelf and left it there. It probably laid there for close to a year. And then one day I take it down, cleaned it up, and that was the beginning. I started out with the dipper gourds, and then I added uh, the gourd bowls. Just about, I think maybe six or seven years ago now, I don't know, time gets away from me, I started making the Cherokee masks. Uh, some are made in the more traditional May way in that they're hand stitched. This guy right here has wood burn tattoos on his face. They're ancient designs. A long time ago, after we were exposed to the Europeans to kind of build up our self-esteem, we would create masks to mock, to make fun of those who put us down or put us in those bad situations. I incorporate the uh, designs, the ancient designs and the syllabary because I am proud of my Cherokee heritage. The designs that I use, the ancient ones, that's art that someone hundreds of years ago made. And so all I'm doing is, is duplicating, so to say, what they've done and I'm showing off what good artists we had beforehand. I'm just proud of what we've done. But when people come to visit me here, if they buy a piece of art, wonderful. But if they don't, because of the stories, because of the, the designs, what have you, and the, and the inf information that I give them about this, if they don't buy a piece of art, they're still leaving with some education. So it's not just being an artist, you're being a teacher, so you need to know what you're talking about. My husband has been awesome, and he gets out there and he does all the tilling and the weeding, and, and uh, he's grown all my gourds all these years since then. Verna has a contagious personality. Very sincere, very enthusiastic about everything she does in life. She is so compassionate about her artwork that I can't help but support her to whatever limit it takes, you know, whatever she desires to do. She puts her whole heart into it. My husband is my hero. Uh, we've been uh, together 23 years, working on 24. I've never known anybody so kind, um, had so much peace, I guess, and he's my partner in crime. We do everything together. I tell people that if uh, we, if there's ever a car wreck and you only find one, you got to look. There's the other ones there somewhere. <laughs> We're always together. He's very supportive, very supportive. He's not only supplied me with my gourds, we have visitors that come and purchase these from us. This year, we decided to grow some heirloom dipper gourds. An heirloom, it is an old, old variety. It's, uh, it's part of your past. So it is, yeah, it's very special. I have um, four grandchildren. The two younger ones, Tanner and Tucker, are following in my artistic footsteps, if you will, and I can't help but just beam with pride. I'm amazed at how much they improve each year. If I don't teach them about their culture, their heritage, their history, 
it's going to get lost. I want them to be excited and know as much as they can possibly know about themselves so that one day when they're adults, they can pass this on to their children and grandchildren. I, I love what I do. There's never a boring moment. Before I go to an art show, my heart still just flutters. I'm still so excited. And I still say that when the time comes that I no longer get excited about the arts, I'm going to quit, and I will. But until then, I'm hanging in there. If you'd like to see more of Verna's work, we've posted a link to her website on ours. Just go to oco.tv and click on links mentioned.